This is my current indoor cycling setup, and it's perfect apart from one thing. As you start cycling up or down the hill, the bike stays flat. Now there are products available to solve this, but they are very expensive, and I think I can build something similar for a fraction of the cost. This is the design that I've come up with for the project. The main frame is made up of three sections of 2040 aluminium extrusion with some 3D printed plates holding them together in a triangle. Inside the frame is a linear actuator that the front forks of the bike will attach to and that will be driven up and down using a Raspberry Pi. I'll get all that printed and then we can stick it together. Here is the completed frame with the linear actuator mounted inside. The next step is to build something that slides up and down this section. I have these V wheels which I'm going to use along with some um, 4 millimeter aluminium sheet. I plan to cut this into some sections and sandwich the wheels between them. So I'll go and do that now. That section's done and attached now. I've also bolted this hub spindle on so that my bike can bolt on and it slides up with these V-wheels and is attached to the lead screw with this 3D printed block. Now I need to attach the limit switches back onto these two wires. So here we have it finished. I've mounted all the electronics that we need to control it. There's a Raspberry Pi down here and it's connected to a board with a motor driver in and a 5 volt regulator which powers the Pi. Attached the shaft I've added a Hall effect sensor and a magnet so that I can count the number of rotations the shaft does so we know where it's at. The only thing left to do now is write some software. So I've written some code to control the gradient simulator. I wanted to use Bluetooth to read the gradient from Zwift, but I couldn't work out how to. I'm sure it's possible. So instead I'm using a Python library which lets me take a screenshot of the part of the screen that the gradient is written to in Zwift. And then I've written some quick code to understand what number that is being shown. And then I send it back to a web server running on the Pi so that it then sets the gradient of the bike. I can now go and test it. <laughs> 